Well, thank you for your presentation. There are certainly a number of questions. Um, I'm going to start off asking you about your reserve funds and uh, particu particularly what you have in reserve. And uh, I'm also interested in how uh, how many fund how much uh, funding you're bringing in from oil and gas uh, uh, resources. The uh, end of year balance of the game fund as of 30 June end of the fiscal year uh, was 51.1 million on the uh, on an accrual basis. And there's two ways of accounting: there's accrual and cost basis. So that's the only accrual basis. On the cost accounting basis, it was around 45.4 million at the end of the year. What that means is that the comptroller looks at the money you have in your account on 30 June, and that's what they say is the end of fund. But we still have the bills to pay from the pre from that fiscal year that go all the way through to the 30th of September. So basically, it's around 45.4 million was what the end ending fund was last year. That's why you'll see different figures in the game news and other figures that we that we use. Difference in the two means of accounting. What about oil and gas? Yes, uh, we've been pretty good with that. Uh, Last year uh, was the best year we've had. It was kind of a rollover between uh, fiscal year 10 and 11. We bought in 21 million 334,570. Was for oil, that's from that's from royalties and leases. So we got a big bonus payment up front, and that was part of 2010. The lease money came in in 2011. We kind of shoot for somewhere around 16 to 18 million dollars a year on leasing. Uh, our royalties have slowly increased, but they're currently around 3.8 million a year. Royalty rates have not come in as, 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 as fast and furious as many predicted. As you know, the price of gas is way down. I believe Bill Capullius told me this morning it's only around $3.31 a thousand cubic feet right now. A few years ago it was $16 a thousand cubic feet. Would we love to see $16,000 $16 a thousand cubic feet for our purposes? Most certainly. Uh, that would certainly enhance our revenue streams. So basically, over the years, we, we try to bring in ab about that amount of money, uh, like I say, between 16 and $18 million on the Marcellus Shale side of the oil, gas, and mineral. And operation. does that include timber revenue also? No, no. Okay. Timber revenue is different. Uh, timber revenue, uh, as you know, up until about three years, three or four years ago, timber market was way up. We were bringing in around $15 million a year on timber for two or three years in a row. When that market dropped, it hurt considerably. It dropped down, and we're pulling in right now between five and six million dollars over the last two or three years. So, as you can see, Marcella Shale is making up some of that difference in our timber revenue. In fact, we're treating more acres now. We're treating between 1,500 and 1,700 more acres each year, but our revenue stream is down because of the price of timber, as you're well aware of, of the, those issues on the forestry side. Even black cherry is down now a little bit this year, uh, which in previously have kind of held a little bit higher than, than, than oak has. So we look at the Marcella Shale as kind of filling that void that the, the timber, we're, we're missing from timber, and giving us a little bit more money to be able to do some of the capital improvements we needed to do. Now I'm assuming that the oil and gas revenue money is kept in a separate account, um, separate from other funds that the commission has. No, there's two, there's two separate, there's two ways we treat the Marcella Shale money. Most of it rolls into the general fund as approved by the Board of Commissioners because they approve all the leases. Uh, the, all royalties go into the game fund. The way we operate on the, on the bonus payments, it depends if there's surface impact or not. If there's no surface impact, and 50% of our leases have no surface impact to game lands, that means the drilling goes under the game lands and doesn't affect the surface whatsoever. When there's a surface impact, we have, that we have a third party escrow that money so we can buy replacement lands for hunters. So that goes into an escrow account that when land is found, that money is used to buy that land because of disturbance that's happening on game lands. We, want, we do not want to have negative effect on acres available to hunters based upon natural resource extraction. And as, you know, as I mentioned in the, in the testimony, we brought in over 20,000 acres over the last two years using those accounts to replace lands that have had an impact by Marcellus Shale. What, uh, I realize the commission approves any expenditure of funds, but what what oversight, what additional oversight is included in that? It, what input is, uh, comes from the governor's office or the governor's budget office and in, in how those funds are sure. expended? Uh, the, the governor gives us an executive authorization. As you know, we don't get an appropriation because we have no general fund money comes to the game commission. They give us an authorization for the year. That does not include those escrow accounts because they are not our funds. They're third party funds that still belong as a, as a it's like when you escrow your house, a similar type situation. Those money are only executed by the third party when land becomes available. 
so the governor's office gives you a set amount of money that you can take and expend out of out, out of those the funds. Fund. They give us an executive authorization, yes. And, and we, 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 we battle back and forth on that quite a bit, to be very honest with you. Uh, uh, now that we have a little more revenue coming in, we like to be able to fix some of our capital issues. And we, we did pretty good this year. Uh, they cut our budget by a, over $6 million initially. And we finally, after four or five months of haggling, got a, almost four and a half to five million back as supplementals. I can get the exact figures for you later on if you like. Uh, that presents some challenge because you only have two thirds a year or less than half the year to execute that part of the budget. So, okay. it's it's it's. But they do they give us an executive authorization, an executive authorization that we live by. 